This is a Philly celeb film. Me and my father, we had, um, we've always had like a, a, a rocky relationship, you know, um, and it was a lot of different principles and, 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 and points that I, I had to make and I felt like putting it in the song was better than me having a conversation because I always big up my mom and a lot of my music and um, I don't want to make it seem like my father did, didn't deserve credit as well but he deserves a lot of credit for my upbringing and how I think as an individual and how I move as a man because I realize a lot of like especially in the society that we live in a lot of us don't have father figures and that affects us in a very big way whether we like it or not you know some of us turn out good some of us turn out bad sometimes when you don't have a father when you have kids now you realize i want to be everything that my father wasn't my father wasn't the my father wasn't never around my father wasn't a provider my father was just wasn't that so that might push you in order to become a better individual but on the other hand on the other hand it can make a way of to a point where it could turn a person where they're distraught, they don't have a good level of self-confidence, they don't know what it is to be a man, they don't have any principles of it to be a man, they don't know how to be a provider, they don't know how to you know balance and structure. So having a father to me was just, uh, in my life, especially growing up on my block, it was very little people who had dads. I was probably the only person that I knew that had a father you know, in his life on a consistent basis, on a regular basis, you know what I'm saying? And everybody knew it. And we had, my thing was in that song, I was just expressing my feelings towards him from the rocky road that we had and let him know it wasn't his fault from down the roads that I took as an individual and the decisions that I made because ultimately when I made them, I was grown. You know what I'm saying? I chose to go down that path. I may have had resentment to him for other reasons, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, he had, my father dealt with a lot of um, internal issues and also you know uh, alcohol substance issues so that was just something that he had to battle and he was battling for a long time and i don't feel like he necessarily really meant to take it out on us but it was just his way of dealing you know what i'm saying everybody has their own way sometimes your way of dealing can uh to develop and to leave a destructive path to whoever you're surrounded around and you know i feel like he was um in a state of trying to heal himself but he didn't really know the direction of where to go because he didn't know how he didn't know how you know what i'm saying his father died when he was 11. so he basically had to grow up and he had to go ahead and he had to raise himself you know what i mean so i understand totally that um what had to happen was was that i had to do a lot of self self reevaluation and a lot of understanding and me going to prison uh did a lot of changing because I wrote him a letter when I went to, when I was in jail. I told him that it wasn't his fault for the decisions that I made in my life. And um, he really appreciated it. So ever since then, you know, ever since you know, doing a lot of different changes of myself as a person, uh, we just been going through on that, on that path to try to better ourselves as individual through father and son relationship, you know what I'm saying? So that's all it was, man. This song was just about paying tribute to him, um, letting him know, you know a lot of stuff in, in my heart what I felt what that he did wrong and what I felt what he did right. But I was letting him know, like, you know, everything is cool, we good. Don't stress that, you know what I'm saying? Don't be so hard on yourself. I made these decisions, you know what I'm saying? We good, you know what I'm saying? That love is eternal, either way. You said some things that would probably hurt me. I know you kill a nigga if he tried to hurt me. I know you made a lot of tears drop me. But don't worry about it, it's cool, pop. Uh, I know we had some bad arguments. I felt it was my feelings you were targeting. Couple shots, but you never brought the target in. I felt stuck like a rapper without the marketing. You left me in the world, had to find myself. Was too loose in the leafs, had to buy myself. With two boots in the deep, had to grind myself. You took drinks to the brain, had to mind myself. 